Welcome back to New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts for the semi-final match of this Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. In this match, Mark Strangio is bowling against Scott LaPierre. And Mark, we didn't quite catch the first ball, but he left the four horsemen left, as you saw, and got everything but the seven pin. The winner of this match will move on to the finals and will be taking on Sean McKinley. Mark Strangio starts with a nine box. And second box, he misses the head pin on the other side and leaves the four horsemen right. So let's see what he can do if he can have any better luck on the right side. And this time he, again, he gets three out of four and leaves the head pin. So it'll be a couple of opens for Mark to start the game. And Mark Strangio with 19 after two. And this brings up Scott LaPierre. And I might mention that Mark Strangio qualified fourth in this, in the three string qualifying round with a 441 triple. Scott LaPierre only had 393 which was good for 23rd position, but he has moved through the latter rounds and um, has uh, proceeded all the way up to this second position in, in match play. He's got the 710 with some wood that he might be able to use. And that's a nice bid by Scott LaPierre, but the uh, wood just doesn't take the 7-pin. He might have had to go just a little bit higher. But that was uh, an excellent bid. So Scott will, he's got to wait for that piece of wood to stop, and then he'll go after the 7-pin. So it's a 10 box to open for Scott LaPierre. We'll move over to lane five. And that's a nice ball by Scott. He uh, goes very full on the head pin and gets a splash. A nice lively hit two and three pins going to the sidewalls and he gets everything but the six pin and that piece of wood turned a little bit so I think it's in pretty good position to uh, to make this six pin I don't think it's gonna be a roadblock and he's got it spare for Scott LaPierre in the second Mark Strangio Fires on lane six, and he gets nine. Missed the head pin, but he got a got a splash on that two pin, and everything went down except the head pin. So that's a good break. See if he can take advantage. He got it. Spare in the third for Mark Strangio. Nice pitch there on the fill. Solid one three pocket hit. And that's a nine drop for Mark Strangio, leaving the nine pin. And he's got a couple of pieces of wood that are well out front, right up against the lip where the uh, pin deck meets the lane. See if he can push that back into the nine pin. He's got it. No problem. Now Scott LaPierre has a ball to fill that spare that he recorded in the second. Scott fills the spare with six and he's left with the diamond two four five eight. See what he can do with this. Always a difficult spare.
Well, it's a nice try, but he just caught a little bit too much of the two pin and didn't get the four. So it's a nine box for Scott LaPierre in the third. going to happen here. He's got seven, eight, nine. So it looked like it might be a four, six, seven split, but he was able to get to four and seven. So he's just got the six with no wood. So he'll just go right at it. And he's got it. So let's take a look at the scoreboard after four. It's a three pin lead for Mark Strangio. 48 to 45 with each bowler having a spare in the fourth box to fill as Mark comes up for his fifth and sixth. Whoa, he misses the head pin by quite a bit on the uh, right side, but again, he gets a nice break and just leaves a head pin. So that's uh, lane six has been good to him so far. Let's see if he can convert once again. And he does. That, that's three spares in a row for Mark Strangio. Very important to take advantage of those breaks when you get them, because if you don't, then uh, they tend to stop coming. On the spare, Mark has got six, and he is left with the one, six, eight, and ten, and a piece of wood that I think is frozen on the head pin at an angle. Let's see what happens with this. And that really worked nicely. He went high on that wood and converted the spare pretty easily. Let's look at it on uh, in slow motion here. He goes pretty high, as you will see, and that wood spins around and covers the one, six, and eight, and the six goes into the ten. So that was, uh, that's a nice shot right there. There's Scott LaPierre working on the spare that he had in the fourth. And he hits the head pin a little full and leaves a big five. Two, four, six, seven, ten with some wood. And you can see Mike Morgan in the foreground. Mike is always a jovial presence on the Pro Series tournament circuit. Well, that's going to be an eight box for Scott LaPierre. <laughs> Scott LaPierre in the sixth frame has got the four horsemen left. One, two, four, seven. Kind of important that he... And it's a nice shot right there. Just ran it right down the line. Let's take a, a peek at the replay. You will see that this ball just goes down the line and carries, takes all four, uh, the ball takes out all four pins. So here's another look at the scoreboard. Mark Strangio has a 15 pin lead right now. He's got 83 with a ball working and Scott LaPierre with 68 plus a ball in the uh, in the sixth. That's why it was so important that Scott LaPierre make that spare not to allow Mark to get too far ahead. And a nice ball by Mark Strangio in the one-two pocket and you know unlike those other hits where he missed the head pin but got a nice break here he throws a nice pocket hit and has a pretty tricky leap he's got the 510 and a couple of pieces of wood in front of it there and he just caught that cap didn't get anything so that's the breaks tend to even out. You get some good ones and some bad ones, and that was a bad break right there. And Mark will take an eight box in the, in the uh, seven.
And you can hear Sean McKinley warming up over uh, over to the side, getting ready for the final match against the, the winner of this contest. And Mark Strangio uh, with another nice ball right on the head pin. And again, he does not have much to shoot at. So that's why it's so important to take advantage of the breaks when you get them, because you never know when they're going to stop. And then all of a sudden you start making good shots, but not having much to show for it. So that'll be a uh, nine box for Mark Strangio in the eighth. And Scott LaPierre down 15, actually down 23 minus the fill here. And nine. So that makes it a uh, 14 pin lead for Mark Strangio. And it's got LaPierre with a five pin. And he's all over that. So that's going to tighten it up. <laughs> I guess Morgie's been eating cookies on the side. That's, uh, that's good for his blood sugar. And Scott Lapierre, speaking of missing the head pin and getting breaks, he, uh, he went out on the quarter on the right side, but got a nice break and just left the one-two opportunity to, uh, to make another spare. Wants to jump all over it, and he does. Two spares in a row, or actually three spares in a row for Scott Lapierre. And we'll take one more look at the scoreboard. Now the tables are turned. Um, Mark Strangio with 108 through eight and Scott LaPierre with 105 and a spare uh, a spare to fill so Scott is uh, right back in it and right now it would behoove Mark Strangio to get at least one mark in the last two because if he doesn't then Scott LaPierre will not uh, uh, need a mark in the last two if he can get a, a fairly decent fill on that spare. And that's going to be, make it an open, but it's very important for Mark to get the maximum pin count here. Pick his pins. And that's a good out there for a 10 box. So Mark moves into the 10th. Nice ball there, but he has a tricky, tough split. He's got the, and one more is going to go. Okay, so it's just two and seven. It looked like it was going to be two, seven, and ten, but the uh, ten pin went. But this is still a pretty tough shot, two and seven. And he goes by the two on the right side. So Mark will be open in both of the last two boxes. He's got a 10 in the 10th. So that means that Scott LaPierre, if he gets more than, he needs three to, uh, to tie the game and four to take the lead. So if he gets more than three, then he'll be able to win this match without getting a mark in the last two. And he's got more than three, he's got seven. So that means that Scott LaPierre has a four pin lead and he's up against two 10 boxes by Mark Strangio in the last two. Good job there taking out the 6-10. So he'll try and get the seven pin. He's got a couple of pieces of wood in the gutter that make it a, a smaller target, but he's gonna try and get the seven and he's got it. So that gives him that four pin lead still in the uh, the ninth frame. Four pin lead through nine. So that means that he just needs six to tie, seven to win here. And that's gonna do it right there. He's got eight, so. Scott LaPierre will move on 
through the final match with a come from behind win over Mark Strangio. Really some clutch bowling there when he needed it in the uh, seventh and eighth. Scott will finish out and then we'll show you the scoreboard. That's going to be a nine box for Scott LaPierre and he accepts the congratulations from his opponent and from the crowd and he'll move on. As you can see on the scoreboard it's a three pin victory for Scott LaPierre 131 to 128 over Mark Strangio. The win propels Scott LaPierre into the finals against Sean McKinley and that match is already up and if you haven't seen it I suggest go to it right now because that was a tremendous match. So we'll see you next month.